Good morning, you guys. So I'm getting ready to leave for work. I'm just letting the pups run around for a little bit, get some <coughs> energy out before I go ahead and leave. Uh, today is my follicle scan, my second one. I'm um, hoping that my lining is thickened and my follicle has grown a little bit. Um, I got a, I didn't film this because I didn't think it was going to happen, but I did get a positive ovulation test last night, um, or like yesterday afternoon, and um, I am one of those that is fortunate enough to uh, be able to use ovulation tests, even though I have PCOS, because they do work for me. So I'm hoping that I'll be ovulating here in the next day or two, so that's a good sign. Um, but yeah, I'm just letting the pups run around for a little bit, um, and I'm going to be heading off to work here soon. What are you doing, Chaster babe? Hmm? Okay. <laughs> she loves her crate. Um, we never close it, but she just loves to go in there and lay down. This is Jack, Mr. Proud and Proper over here. Say hi, buddy. <laughs> He's a good boy, aren't ya? Yeah. Where you going? Good drink. So I thought I would show you all of the medications that I have to take. Um, not have to, but I do. Um, so the first one um, in the morning, I take my thyroid medication. I don't have it downstairs. I have it upstairs in my cabinet. I'm on 25 milligrams of Synthroid. And then when I come down in the morning, I take my Tylenol arthritis because I can't be on any of my arthritis medication right now. So I take this in the morning and then I take it at night, uh, two pills each. So four pills total for the day. Also in the morning, since my vitamin D is low, um, I take these. These are the drops that I take. Uh, liquid vitamin D3 with K2. My doctor has me taking five drops of these. Um, and I think that that's kind of a lot. So my vitamin D must be very low. So at night, I will take um, folic acid. I don't know what that is on there. Um, I take four tablets at night. And then I, this is the prenatal that I use. It has DHA in it. Um, and then once I hit ovulation, I will be taking progesterone. Um, it's just generic progesterone. Um, I'll be taking it orally, and then if I get pregnant, I will switch to suppositories. So, that's the medication I take. Um, I don't take anything for my insulin or anything. My doctor didn't think I needed to, so it must not be too bad. I don't take anything like that anymore. Um, occasionally, I'll take some of these fiber gummies because um, I'm the type of person that I need some extra fiber in my diet. <laughs> so... Yeah, that is uh, the medication that I take on the daily, and hopefully that all that together will work to create a baby. Hello, so I am on my lunch break and I'm getting ready to go to my follicle scan, um, hoping for some good news, hoping my follicle is a good size and my lining is thick enough. Um, if so, I should be ovulating within the next couple of days, and then I'll start the progesterone. So um, I will keep you updated on what happens at the appointment here in a Go few minutes. Go say bye to daddy. Go on. Go say bye to daddy. Go say bye. Okay, I love you. Where's daddy going? Huh? Is he going to work at 6.30 at night? Life of a teacher. <laughs> I bet they run to the window. That's going to be their next step. Where's daddy? Where did he go? Hi, Shay, babe. And to the window. <laughs> Called that one. Hey, guys. So I thought I'd go ahead and give you an update on how my doctor's appointment went today. Um, it's night now, and I'm at home. I did not have time to update you um, after my appointment because I had to get right back to work. Um... I thought I'd sit outside tonight because it's nice outside. Um, uh, Matt, my husband, is gone. He has um, a back to school night tonight for freshman orientation. He's a high school teacher, so he had to go to that. So the dogs are just running around. I apologize if they start barking. We have a squirrel that lives in a tree in our yard and it taunts them. So if you hear barking, I apologize. <laughs> uh, sorry for the lighting too. So 
Anyways, so I went to my doctor's appointment and my follicle grew to 17 um, millimeters. I was a little disappointed, um, but I'm hoping that it'll grow at least one more millimeter by tomorrow. Usually I ovulate on cycle day 17 and that's what tomorrow is. So I'm kind of hoping that um, tomorrow will be the day I ovulate. Um, my lining was a 7.8, so I'm hoping tomorrow it's over 8. That would be fantastic. So that's kind of how my doctor's appointment went. Um, that's really all I have to update you on right now. Um, I guess I could go into also my rheumatoid arthritis. Since my husband and I started trying two years ago, I had to go off all of my arthritis medication and I'm starting to have really bad flare ups. And last Friday I went and had some x-rays done and it came back that I had a lot of inflammation and that uh, my bones are starting to rub together and they're starting to deteriorate. So I find out this week if I actually have to have surgery. So if I'm not pregnant this month, then I don't know if we're gonna have to put trying to conceive on hold so I can do the surgery or if I should just try to get pregnant and if I don't get pregnant by the end of the year, if I should just stop trying and have the surgery to fix my knee, I don't know yet. Um, I'll probably end up having to get an MRI done, but I'm in a lot of pain. My knee has never been in this much pain and because I've been off my medicine for so long, my um, arthritis has actually started to spread. It's in this elbow now and I can't even like straighten the elbow. Like it's like, if you can see it's like bent compared to that one kind of a bad angle so I'm just really torn on what to do because I can't let my arthritis spread like I won't let it so but it's already started so I'll, I mean it's important for me to have a family obviously I mean I want it more than anything in the world but at the same time like I just don't know what to do so um that's really an update for right now um I don't really have too much else to say and yeah, that's about all I have. So I will keep you guys updated the next over the next week. Um, I forgot to say that my doctor is actually, she's doing a Sano series on me. So I'm gonna go in every single day until I ovulate. So I will know exactly what day I ovulate, which is kind of nice. Um, and then I'll go in for seven DPO progesterone draw. So yeah, that's about all I have. Um, I will keep you guys updated.